idols and those gods that you have among you. You know, in those days it was common practice even among the Israelites to keep these little small idols, these little household gods. When Jacob left Laban and set out for home, Rachel stole her father's household gods and he came looking for them. It was, you know, it's much like all those little good luck charms that we have today. You know, we, we keep them rabbit's feet, four-leaf clovers, horseshoes, lucky pennies, lucky socks. Oh, listen. <laughs> my stepmother made my father wear the ugliest yellow socks every time they made a trip from Michigan to Illinois because he wore them one time and he had a safe trip. So they wanted to make sure they had a safe trip all the time, so they had to wear yellow socks. Not only this, but they had to eat egg salad sandwiches. Now, and that's the truth. <laughs> We're superstitious lot. And he says, we don't need to be that way. Throw away those superstitions. Get rid of all those medallions and those little statues. Joshua insisted on a little bit of proof of their commitment. Prove the truth of your words by getting rid of your idols. Get rid of anything that comes between you and serving the Lord your God. And you have to so serve him wholeheartedly. Now the final decision in the matter was what? They committed themselves to the Lord. We are sure we will serve the Lord our God and obey him. What about you? Are you sure? Will you serve the Lord? Will you remain faithful to him? We pray that you will. And you know one of the things that I really love and I really marvel about is I see a lot of you young folks out there and some of you have already graduated from high school and everything else but you show up here you show up and I hope that's because of your commitment to Jesus Christ your choice what are you going to choose and that's a choice for all of us will we choose the Lord we're going to have an invitation hymn, Brandy, if you will. And uh, Brandy's going to lead us in an invitation hymn. And it is that time when you make a decision. Do you want to be baptized into Christ? Do you believe in him? Do you want to be a part of this church? The choice is yours. Brandy? Let's turn to 486. There's room at the cross for you. 486. We'll sing the first and third verses. Please stand. i 
Let's turn to Let's do the first verse again, please. Jesus, my Lord, will love me forever. From him no power of evil can sever. He gave his life to ransom my soul. Now I belong to him. Now I belong to Jesus. Jesus Do six sixty. Okay. Okay. Think you're on the wrong page? Okay. Matt, did I tell you a bad about that? Here they come. We're safe. It's okay. Sorry. Hannah, upon your confession of faith, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit for the remission of your sins and the gift of the Holy Spirit.
strength and help them, Father, to make the right decisions. For indeed, we realize as Christians that there is right and wrong. There is the right decision and the wrong decision. Help us to choose what is right. Help us to choose you. Father, dismiss us now with your mercy and your grace. Father, we do pray a special blessing upon all of our, our service men and women. And especially those who are in service, those who have retired. Bless us now in Christ, for it's in his name we pray. Amen. Amen.